We admit 230 students each year in the MD program at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. With this many students entering each year, it became obvious to us that we had to do something to allow them to have relationships with each other and also with the faculty. In the year 2007, we formed a series of learning communities that we call the Academic Colleges of Southwestern Medical Center. In it, we hope to introduce them into the culture of medicine and ease them into the intense academic environment to which they will come. We took the large class of students and divided it into six colleges, each of which had a physical home which enhanced a sense of community and belonging. We divided the colleges into small groups of six students. We then handpicked a senior, well-respected faculty member to meet with them weekly for the first two years of medical school. These physician mentors introduced the students to the often complex clinical care of patients. They also follow their six students throughout the four years of medical school. And at graduation, the mentors hood their students before their families and friends. In the four years since we started our colleges, we have seen enormous growth and excitement with both the students and the faculty. Graduating and coming to UT Southwestern, where it's a smaller environment, but um, I knew how big UT Southwestern was as an entity, and I, I was a little, a little intimidated, a little scared by the reputation. You very quickly go from vaguely being able to identify someone to really knowing this group of six, and then 40, and then eventually 230 people. They can't imagine the obstacles that are going to come up over their next four to ten years of training after medical school and whatever residency they choose. So they don't understand the challenges they're going to face yet. And so I kind of I bring up issues with them, especially in the ethics lectures, to tell them, well, this really happened to me and this is how I dealt with it. I'm fortunate enough that as an anesthesiologist I can bring them to the operating room and they can come do some procedures in the operating room. So they love that clinical exposure during their first year, especially when they don't really get to touch real patients. Especially through the colleges, I thought what was a great idea to me was that, you know, you have this built-in community of people within your class. We, as a college, will also have all number of social get-togethers. We'll eat lunch together, we'll go out uh, on the weekends together, study together. We have, you know, we had a relay race at orientation, we have uh, dodgeball tournaments, but it's all well-meaning, good intention, fun. I, I think it's incredibly important to have something that's outside of academia, that's uh, supporting students socially and mentally and emotionally. We've become more human in the medical school experience, so we realize now that medical students have to have a life outside of medical school, just like we've realized that with residents also. It fosters a group identity for the students so that they can start to think of each other as a team rather than as competitors. They put us into a community, they kind of you know, shoved us together, forced us into interacting, and you know, you really start to build relationships out of that, important relationships that you need to have under these stressful conditions. There's a true relationship there that the colleges build uh, with their mentors, and I know I'll, I'll be calling Dr. B probably for the rest of my life. At Southwestern, we believe that the colleges play a vital role in the student's journey to become a physician. The student's relationship with their mentors and peers has enhanced their capacity to communicate with and care for their patients. It has become, in short, an essential component of their medical school education and experience.